Come, you blessed of my Father, receive the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Alleluia. Today is Wednesday, April 15th, Wednesday in the octave of Easter. Mass this morning is offered for the repose of the soul of Dick Franzen. And today would have been one of our school masses, and so I greet our school students and parents and teachers, and thank you for joining us here today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us year by year with the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection, graciously grant that by celebrating these present festivities, we may merit through them to reach eternal joys. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter and John were going up to the temple area for the three o'clock hour of prayer. And a man crippled from birth was carried and placed at the gate of the temple called the Beautiful Gate every day to beg for alms from the people who entered the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked for alms. But Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, Look at us. He paid attention to them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, rise and walk. Then Peter took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles grew strong. He leaped up, stood and walked around, and went into the temple with them, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the one who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with amazement and astonishment at what had happened to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. 
Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, invoke his name. Make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him, sing his praise. Proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth his judgments prevail. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus, and they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them, but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped, looking downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, said to him in reply, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place there in these days? And he replied to them, What sort of things? They said to him, The things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people. How our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those with us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had described, but him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the prophets spoke! Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on farther. But they urged him, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. And it happened that, While he was at table with them, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were opened, and they recognized him. But he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem, where they found gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way, and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Happy Easter, everyone. Uh, and a quick shout out to all of our school students and parents and teachers. Uh, we miss you. I miss you. Uh, I think of you and pray for you every day. Uh, a special word of welcome to our third graders. This would have been your Mass today that you would have put on for us. And if my brain is working correctly, that would also mean today is the day of the recorder concert. I don't know if you brought your recorders home, uh, but you should definitely play your parents a full recorder concert today if you can. And teachers, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you uh, for what you're doing. Uh, I'm hearing awesome reports, so please keep up the good work. When I was growing up, you know, fifth, sixth, seventh grade, maybe earlier, uh, one of my favorite things was when one of my friends or my cousins got to stay overnight. Right? Because I just liked being with them and we had so much fun together. And, and one of the hard things was when uh, we were in the middle of playing and we, we were doing all of these things and then it would be time for someone to go home. And I would say to my mom or dad, oh, can't they stay? Can't they stay? But they would have to go. But not on overnights. Uh, when friends or cousins got to stay overnight, uh, the fun could just continue, and then there would be more tomorrow. And it was awesome. And there's something about that good friendship, that, that solid relationship that wants to stay together. And then it's sad when you have to part ways. You probably don't have this yet as uh, students, but uh, maybe your parents do, your teachers, uh, where you have friends from different parts of the country. And every once in a while, uh, either you'll be traveling or they'll be traveling, and they'll say, hey, I'm passing through. Can we get together for lunch? Can we get together for a drink? And you're able to see that person uh, for a short amount of time, but then pff, it's time to move on, and you want to say, oh, can't you stay? Can't you stay? I want to stay and spend more time with you. We just heard this gospel reading, often called The Road to Emmaus. We had these two disciples of Jesus uh, who are talking about all of the things that have taken place in recent days, and then Jesus draws close to them. They don't know if it's him yet, uh, but they're drawn to him. Uh, and they engage in this beautiful conversation with him. And, and they come to the, the end of their journey, and they're ready to go inside, and it looks like he's going to move along. And they say, will you stay with us? Stay with us. And he does. And then everything changes. And he reveals himself to them and their hearts are set on fire and, and their sadness and their sorrow turned to joy. Because they invited Jesus to stay with them. Jesus wants to stay with us. To be in relationship with us. Uh, a relationship that doesn't end. Where one of us doesn't have to go home at the end of the day. It's not just a passing through relationship. Or one where we just sort of bump into him and then move along. He wants to stay with us. I just want to encourage you to ask him to stay. Jesus, stay with me. Because he so desires that, and, and he will when we ask him. 
And when we invite Him to stay with us, to be with us, to to be in relationship, well, then the sadness that we might be facing, or the frustration, or the boredom, or whatever else we're experiencing in the midst of this pandemic, He can transform all of that. And He can bring us into great joy and peace. So just an encouragement in this Easter season especially, but at all times to call out to the Lord Jesus and ask him, stay with me. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, when we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice which has redeemed the human race, and be pleased to accomplish in us salvation of mind and body. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and Andrew, his assistant, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. 
and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you also for those to whom you have been pleased to give the new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of all their sins. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, 
Hope in your abundant mercies. Graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that the reverent reception of the sacrament of your Son may cleanse us from our old ways and transform us into a new creation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint Rosalie, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. <laughs>